Hi there, this is Alan from Hyperstream and in this video I want to show you how you can sell your own products using WordPress. Now I'm assuming you've already got WordPress installed so if you haven't go ahead get that installed uh, using the tutorials on this site. Uh, the way you get going with WordPress is download it from wordpress.org or you can install it via your web host but this isn't a tutorial on that, this is about selling products. So once you've got WordPress installed go ahead and get the WooCommerce plugin downloaded and installed on your blog. So here I've just got an old site, I'll, I'll play with this one for this to the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, so let's go ahead and download uh, or install the plugin uh, WooCommerce do a search for that. I think I spelled that wrong. WooCommerce, there we go. Do a search and go ahead and install this plugin here. Okay, so activate the plugin and then we're just going to go through a few quick setup things. So what you're going to need for this uh, to take payments is a PayPal account. So if you haven't got a PayPal account, head, head, head over to paypal.com and register for an account there and what you're going to need is your uh, the the details that you the email address that you signed up for paypal with uh, so just if you get that wrong that you're not going to be able to take any payments so go ahead let's set up the payment options first i'm going to go into the settings uh, okay Oh, no, we need to install the pages first, so let me come back. Okay, so it's saying here we need to install these these pages into WordPress, so let's uh, go ahead and install these. We could manually um, add certain short codes, but this is a, a blank site, so I'm just going to install, install these pages uh, automatically. And then I'm going to go into uh, the settings. and then we're going to set up our PayPal uh, account. So we're going to go into is it, uh, checkout. Uh, yep, checkout. And then we've got PayPal. So we want to have a PayPal checkout. Click on settings. And then here's where uh, the important part where you put your email address to receive PayPal payment. So mine for example is uh, not hyperstream.biz which is an old email address I signed up for PayPal ages ago. And then I think for the same you put the same email address there. And this is all optional. So that's the main thing. You need to put your, your PayPal email address whoops and the receiver email address. Actually, this is my receiver email address is slightly different. Uh, mine is actually .co .uk. Uh, yours should be the same, I imagine. If you use the same PayPal, uh, same email address you signed up with for PayPal. So that's that one done. Um, and then let's save changes. And then we should be good to go. Take payments. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to show you how to add a product. So here we have uh, the product section of WooCommerce. So go ahead and add your first product. We click on Add Product, and we can type in the, the title of the product. So let's say, uh, just put Test Product as a title. You put your content about your uh, your product there. You can add uh, pictures and video anything you want in this space here. Uh, you want to set the product image here. So click on set product image and then we can select a file. Uh, so we'll just use any old we'll just use any old uh, image here. This one will do for Google Apps. Ok 
Okay, so once it's uploaded, set the product image by clicking on set product image. And that should be done. There we go. Put your sale price in, so uh, your regular price, which we're going to sell it at. Um, obviously, if it's uh, on a sale, so you would put maybe eighty pounds, uh, for example, or eighty dollars, whatever currency you're working in, and then we can publish the product. So we should hit publish, and now that product will be published on my website. So we can view that. So here we are. This is added to the site. I'm going to change this theme actually because it's not compatible with Woo themes. Uh, so that's a good point. You actually need to have a template that is listed as being compatible with, with Woo themes. Um, and I'm so what I'm going to do. I'm just going to switch this back to the default uh, WordPress theme for now, 2014, and then that should look a bit better. So there we are. We've uh, now added our product into there, and then we can add that to our cart. So we're going to add to cart. Uh, we now view the cart. Um, we can then proceed to checkout. So we can fill in our details, and then we're going to choose PayPal as our as our option. Proceed to PayPal. Okay, it's asked me to fill in some details here. Um, okay so there we go um, I've added a product and that's now pushed this uh, it's processed that into PayPal and if I put in my details here um, obviously I don't want to pay myself but this would be a functioning product so you see in as little as uh, the time we've just taken to set that up, a few minutes, uh, you can have a product up online uh, ready to sell uh, very quickly. Obviously creating a product and um, you know it takes a bit more time to do that but you can see the technology behind it doesn't take too long uh, if you want to get started uh, selling products using WordPress. Okay so I just wanted to uh, mention that the purpose of these tutorials is not really I'm not trying to make perfect tutorials here I just want to give you really uh, an overview and what you can do with WordPress and hopefully you know, give you something very quickly in these short videos um, so I'm not going to sp I'm not going to sp in subsequent videos I'm not going to spend a lot of time setting up uh, demo pages and things I'm just going to use real world uh, examples which I have okay so what we've done in this uh, this little video, I've shown you how to uh, install WooCommerce onto WordPress. Um, we spoke about uh, very generally about themes um, and having a compatible theme with uh, WooCommerce is important. Now, uh, obviously, the default themes that come with WordPress are probably not going to be the best ones to use. You know, they 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 will work, and you can definitely sell products through them. Um, but it's probably better to actually, if you're going to uh, open up a shop, you definitely want to go for uh, a premium theme. So if you want to go onto somewhere like, um, you can buy uh, themes from Woo, the people that actually make the theme, uh, that plugin itself, which is Woo Themes. Or I also recommend uh, ThemeForest.net, uh, which is where we buy a lot of our own uh, templates and themes for WordPress. Uh, so if you have a look on the below this video, there will be some links to some uh, recommended themes and templates that you can use uh, for WooCommerce. And I hope you found this useful. Take care. Bye-bye.